welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have two healthy snack ideas for you guys. So if you guys are anything like me, I have a huge sweet tooth and I love to snack. So if I don't have healthy snacks already on hand, either already made or like fruit that's already fresh, washed and cut, then I will go towards the unhealthy stuff and stuff my face with stuff that I do not need. So making healthy snacks beforehand and having them ready for me is a lifesaver. So I'm gonna share with you guys two healthy, delicious snack ideas that I have been making recently and is so good. One of them I've been making for a while, which is like a yogurt bark I used to always make for the kids. And the second one I just discovered on Pinterest because I've been searching on Pinterest for a lot of like different meal prep ideas and snacks. And I found like these protein bars that were so delicious and I am obsessed with them. So I'll be making them again, but this is going to be two healthy snack ideas. I'm going to leave them linked down below just in case you guys would like to make them for you and your family. So enough of my rant rambling enough my talking let's go ahead and jump right into today's two healthy snack ideas all right you guys so this is everything that you're going to need for this recipe so over here i just have like my mixing bowl with all of the cups and tablespoons teaspoons that i'm going to need for the recipe so for this recipe you are going to need some unsweetened coconut flakes you're going to need some chia seeds flaxseed meal some unsweetened cocoa powder whole grain oats I'm using almond butter, but you can choose to use peanut butter, cashew butter, sunflower butter, whatever you choose, but I'm using almond butter. I'm also going to be using some vanilla extract and then also some raw honey. You can also use maple syrup if you choose, but I'm going to just use some of this pure um, raw honey. So that is everything that you will need for this recipe. All right, you guys, so for this first recipe, I'm gonna go ahead and mix all the ingredients together. I'm gonna measure everything out according to the recipe, add it into a large bowl, mix it all together, and then let it set in the fridge for about two hours, just because if you set it in the fridge, it's just a little bit easier for you to form the little balls. So I did put it in the fridge for two hours to set, but obviously right now I'm just mixing everything together. And like I mentioned before, this recipe did call for peanut butter, but I prefer almond butter, so I did use my almond butter. Instead of peanut butter, you can use any anything you would like. If you like almond butter, cashew butter, peanut butter, anything you can use for this recipe. Like I said, I'm just using almond butter because that is what I prefer. Once I am done mixing all of this together, like I said, I'm just gonna place in the fridge, let it set for two hours, and then I will come back and form the little balls. This time I promise it won't break I'm hoping that things haven't changed Life took us far apart But it never took away my heart Have you been holding it safe? Cause it's been hard For this second recipe, this is the easiest one possible. So you're going to need some yogurt, any yogurt of your choice. I'm just using this Faye vanilla and I'll be using a little bit of this. I'm also going to be using this vanilla bean um, granola fruit of your choice. I have made this in the past before and I've put a lot of different other fruits like blueberries and raspberries, but this time around, I'm just gonna put strawberries. I'm also going to add a little bit of honey to it and then on top, I will sprinkle some coconut flakes. So that is everything that I'm going to be using for this recipe. And now for recipe number two, which is the quickest and easiest recipe you can make that is healthy and delicious. I actually make this a lot for my kids and they both love it. So right now I am just adding some Greek yogurt into a container, adding a little bit of raw honey to make it a little bit sweeter, some cinnamon because I love cinnamon in everything. And then I'm gonna mix in some coconut flakes. I originally was going to just sprinkle it on top, but at the last minute I decided to go ahead and actually mix it in to the yogurt. So once I'm done mixing all that together, I'm gonna chop 
up some strawberries. Like I mentioned before, I have added other fruits to the recipe like raspberries and blueberries and it's delicious with any fruit. This time around, I just wanted some strawberries. So I just cut up a few strawberries into very small bite pieces so that I can sprinkle it on top of this yogurt bark once I am done. So I'm gonna finish cutting all these strawberries up and then I'm gonna place it in to a baking dish with some either wax paper or parchment paper, anything to make it um, easier for you to break up once you are done setting it in the freezer. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it on some wax paper in this baking dish. Then I'm gonna sprinkle the strawberries and also granola on top of this. And then I'm gonna put it in the freezer for a few hours to set. I think I put mine in the freezer for about four hours and then that was good enough for it to set just because I didn't have too much yogurt. The more yogurt, the longer you'll have to have it set. And then I took it out and broke it up into pieces. And this is how it looks when I'm done just mixing everything together. At the last minute, I did add some cinnamon because I love cinnamon. So I also decided to actually mix the coconut flakes in the yogurt instead of sprinkling it on top. But this is how it looks. So now I'm gonna put it in the freezer for a few hours. And once it settles, then I can go ahead and break them off to like little bite-sized pieces or like little squares. And then I put it in like a Tupperware um, container. But that's how pretty it looks right now. I'm going to go ahead and set it in the freezer. So after a few hours of both of my dishes setting in the fridge in the freezer, this is how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and form the balls and then also break off the yogurt bark so it can be into some bite-sized pieces. So this is how it looks once I am completely done breaking it apart. Now the bark is very easy to go ahead and break up into bite-sized pieces. And then the little energy balls, protein balls, this was so easy to form into balls as well because of the honey. If yours is like falling apart or too dry, I would just add either some more peanut butter, almond butter, whatever butter you use, or more honey, and that'll make it a little more stickier for you to be able to form the balls. So that is going to end my two healthy snack ideas for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. These were very quick and easy snacks that I like to make. I'm going to leave the recipes down below in my description box just in case you guys would like to try them. I really love the way it turned out. Like I said, I did substitute the peanut butter for almond butter just because I prefer almond butter better. But if there's anything else in these recipes that you don't like, you can always swap it out for something that you do like. So after also, this, I do have a meal prep video coming up soon because I did film that um, about a week or two ago ago and I still haven't uploaded it yet and then after that I'm not sure if I'm gonna do maybe like two healthy breakfast ideas or a what I eat in a day like full day of eating let me know in the comments which you guys would prefer if you guys would like to see some breakfast ideas or if you would like to see a full day of eating and then I will film that one next week. Anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video bye